Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srivanala. Today's topic is fat embolism. Embolism is the process of partial or complete obstruction of some part of the cardiovascular system by any mass carried in the circulation. Fat embolism is the obstruction to the arterioles and capillaries by the fat globule. Etiology Traumatic causes Trauma to bones. It is the most common cause of fat embolism. The trauma can be in form of fracture, concussion or any orthopedic procedure. Trauma to soft tissue. Example, laceration of adipose tissue. In pure perium injury to pelvic fatty tissue. Non-traumatic causes. Extensive burns, diabetes mellitus, fatty liver, pancreatitis, sickle cell anemia, decompression of bones and soft tissues, extrinsic fat are all introduced into the body. Pathogenesis Following theories have been put forward to explain the formation of fat embolism. Mechanical theory Following trauma to bones and soft tissues, the fat globules are released into the venous circulation. The most of the fat gets arrested in small capillaries of the lungs, but some of the fat globules pass further into systemic circulation to lodge into other organs. Emulsion Instability Theory According to this theory, fat emboli are formed by the aggregation of plasma lipids like chylomicrons and fatty acids due to disturbance in natural emulsification of fat. This theory explains pathogenesis of fat emboli in non traumatic cases. Intravascular coagulation theory. In stress, some factors may activate disseminated intravascular coagulation and aggregation of fat emboli. Toxic injury theory. According to this theory, high plasma levels of free fatty acids chemically injure the small vessels in lungs, increasing their vascular permeability, resulting in consequent pulmonary edema. All these mechanisms or theory may act single or in combination. Consequences of fat embolism The outcome or consequence of fat embolism depends upon the size and quantity of the fat globules and whether the emboli can pass through the lungs into systemic circulation or not. Pulmonary fat embolism Small fat globules are not likely to appreciably obstruct the vast pulmonary vascular bed but widespread obstruction of the pulmonary circulation by fat embolism can result in sudden death. Microscopically, the lungs of the fat embolism shows hyperemia, edema, petechial hemorrhages and changes of adult respiratory distress syndrome. Due to small size of fat globule, infarction is not a feature of pulmonary embolism. These fat globules appear as vacuoles in pulmonary arteries, capillaries and alveolar spaces on routine staining and they are confirmed by fat stains such as sodium dyes, oil red O and osmic acid. Systemic fat embolism Though most of the fat globules get lodged in the pulmonary circulation, some may get into systemic circulation via patent foramen oval, avictions in the lungs and vert vertebral venous plexus. Then these globules get lodged in the capillaries of brain, kidney, skin, etc. Fat embolism in brain shows petechial hemorrhages on leptomeninges and minute hemorrhages in the parenchyma. It can produce manifestations such as delirium, convulsion, stupor, coma and even sudden death. Microscopically, it shows microinfarct, edema and hemorrhages. Renal fat embolism in the glomerular capillaries cause decreased GFR tubular damage and renal insufficiency. Other organs involvement can be manifested as petechiae in the skin, conjunctiva, and serosal surface appearance of fat globules in urine and sputum, etc. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.